restless to hear Dr. Kiran Bedi. So let me just, in a few minutes, uh, encapsulate a couple of things about her life, then I will ask others to felicitate her. We are excited to have you with us, ma'am. Dr. Kiran Bedi, the honorable former Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. A warm and hearty welcome to you, ma'am. You're a multi-talented, dynamic woman, charismatic leader. You're nurtured by parents who instilled in you and your sisters the desire to excel. You're groomed at Sacred Heart Senior Secondary School, Amritsar. You shone in academics. You went on to graduate in law from Delhi University and onward to a doctorate from IIT Delhi. You taught political science in Khalsa College, Amritsar. And I think this struck a chord with me and with all the faculty members here that ma'am has been a faculty member. You are always a woman who preferred to swim against the stream. As a young IPS officer, there were several occasions where you stood high amongst your colleagues, awarded with the police medal for gallantry, later on the MEGSSA Peace Award. You made a mark in every role you took up, whether it was Asia's Women Tennis Championship or India's highest ranking female police officer. Your high standards and your pure grit made you a role model for people like me, for young women and men all over India. As Delhi's Inspector General of Prisons, you made a deep impact in rehabilitation of prisoners and prison reform, and I'm sure there are many whose lives are irreversibly changed as a result of your policies and programs. More recently, through Indian Vision Foundation and Navjoti India Foundation, as well as a dedicated YouTube channel on demonstrative learning, you continue to work and inspire youth, men and women and vulnerable groups. You have authored 12 books, one of them which is titled I Dare, one of my personal favorites, <laughs> and one of your latest books on fearless governance. You were voted India's most trusted woman by Asian Age, one of the 10 most admired women in India. So we are so proud and to welcome you to Oro University. And I request you, ma'am, to please come on stage. Thank you. I request our honorable provost to please come and felicitate, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. use this or ye screen idhar aayegi acha theek hai ye form acha theek hai sabse pehle main jitna bhi dhanyawad karu aapka utna hi kam hai jab ye invitation aaya mere liye फ्लाइट ढूंढनी थी सिर्फ छः बजे की फ्लाइट तो सूट नहीं कर रही थी सुबह छः बजे की जो किरण सिंह जी ने बोला मैंने कहा छः बजे मत बुलाओ इसका मतलब मैं तीन बजे रात को सारी रात जागूंगी तब मैं पहुंचूंगी वी फाउंड अ फ्लाइट एंड इट वाज़ रीजनेबल टाइम वेरी ग्रेटफुल सो इन्विटेशन वॉज वेरी वेरी स्परिचुअल फॉर मी इट वॉज ऑल्सो रिकमेंडेड बाई भावना हो माई फ्रेंड आई मेट इन राजकोट और आपका नाम ही इतना बढ़िया था कि इसको ना कौन कर सकता है It's such a powerfully spiritual name, and I'm I'm so happy that you got this name, and they allowed you to have it, because I'm a Pondicherryan uh, by heart now. I spent dedicated five years of my last five years of my life serving Puducherry, but it began with the ashram. It began with Sri Aurobindo Ashram, and it says this in the first chapter of my book, 
latest book which I've written on five years of my work, Fearless Governance. And that was my request to Kiran to translate it in Gujarati. Kiran, where are you? I have requested that you can translate it in Gujarati. And I will come back to you in Gujarati edition. When it will be Kiran. And my publisher was very welcome that he, he was very happy that my Gujarati edition will be done. Because many other books are already in Gujarati. So I was wondering why should we not have fearless governance as well. So as soon as we finish, as soon as we finish, I will get a chance to get back to you. We are late now. We are late now. We are late now. Zaroor. And what an impressive building you have. What a wonderful environment around it. What a wonderful concept of the university with the hospitality training. ये जो आपका कॉन्सेप्ट है यही तो चाहिए। अगर अगर G20 कोई रेकमेंडेशंस मांग रहे हैं, तो मेरी एक रेकमेंडेशन वो है जो हमने गाड़ी में से बात की थी, कि जब मैं भी पांडिचेरी में थी, तो मैं कहती थी कि एक तरफ आपके पास पांडिचेरी में सात से भी ज़्यादा मेडिकल कॉलेजेस हैं, चौदह लाख की पापुलेशन और अपनी आमदन बना ली और एक-एक बच्चे से 50-50 लाख रुपया सीट की फीस लेते थे थे अब नहीं तो ये हाल था और जब कोविड आया तो ये डट के मैटर एक्सपोज हो गया लेकिन मेरे सेवा के दौरान लोग स्टूडेंट्स रोते हुए आते थे मेरे पास गरीब स्टूडेंट के हमारा मेरिट है लेकिन हम 50 लाख रुपया कहाँ से लाएं और पॉन्डिचरी से क्योंकि रिसीट नहीं दे रहे और मांगते ही जाते हैं हॉस्टल के लिए भी ट्रांसपोर्ट के लिए भी ये भी ये भी ऊपर से एक बारी एडमिट हो गए और फिर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट भी साइन करा रहे हैं बड़ी चीजें सो ये सारी चीजें मेरे नोटिस में जब एस लेफ्टन गवर्नर आईं तो मैंने उसको टेक अप कर Political power was there. Without political power, it could not be done. So, political power was there. Money power was there. But I had a position. I had a position. And I had a backing of the government of India. And I had a chair. I had a chair. I had a court. So, there were rules. So, after that, when we challenged these things, when we were in the left hand governor, I filed an affidavit in Madras High Court. For their students, for their students. और उनको एक ग्रैटिस के लिए लॉयर वीबीआर मेनन चेन्नई ने को रिक्वेस्ट की कि इनका केस टेक अप करो ये तो लूट है ये तो एक्सटॉर्शन है और तब तक नीट एग्जाम भी आने लग गए लेकिन अभी नीट का वो फाइनलाइज नहीं हुआ था वो एम्ब्रियोनिक स्टेज में थी और लेकिन गवर्नमेंट ने कहना शुरू कर कानून नहीं थे, रूल्स भी नहीं थे, रूल्स को वायलेट कर रहे थे। तो जब मैंने ये टेक अप किया उस वक्त लड़ाई इस जंग को, तो मैंने ये देखा कि एक तरफ ये साइलोज जैसे काम कर रहे हैं, कोविड आ गया, लेकिन हर मेडिकल कॉलेज अपना संभाल के बैठा हुआ है, हम क्यों देंगे किसी को हेल्प? मैंने कहा कोविड म जहाँ वो इनको फीव डब्स बनी हुई बनी हुई थी उधर नर्सिंग स्कूल भी है नर्सिंग हॉस्पिटल है आपके पास रेडियोलॉजी लैब्स भी है सब जिन्हें अपनी 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 टेरिटरी को संभाल के बैठे हो उस वक्त मैंने रियलाइज किया कितनी जबरदस्त एक डेफिशिएंसी है इस गव इस कंट्री में एक तरफ मेडिकल कॉलेज एक ये क्यों नहीं जैसे एंटर करते, they become apprentices and interns और practical learn करें, क्यों नहीं हम linkages करते? हर hospital, so this is my suggestion, जैसे आपका और hospitality का है, ये suggestion G को अपनी अपनी country को दीजिए कि जहाँ जहाँ medical college है और medical और hospital है, उनको link करो और जहाँ जहाँ जो भी nursing school है, उसको link करो, nurses को भी practical work स्टूडेंट्स को भी प्रैक्टिकल वर्क, डॉक्टर्स को असिस्टेंट मिले और वो ट्रेनिंग बाय डूइंग, टर्न ट्रेनिंग माय सीइंग, 
एक तरफ यू आर लर्निंग एक तरफ यू आर डूइंग एक तरफ यू आर सीइंग और साथ में लेबोरेटरी एक्सपर्ट्स के जो जो लेबोरेटरी असिस्टेंट्स हैं उनको भी लिंक करो व्हाई कैन वी लिंक वी सेव लॉट ऑफ मनी आल्सो बट वी विल गेट लॉट ऑफ ट्रेनिंग बाय प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग आज नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग तो ये व्हाई डोंट वी एस्टैब्लिश लिंकेजेस लिंक हॉस्पिटल विद कॉलेज एंड नर्सिंग होम सेइंग यू लिंक्ड now you work together you are a coordinating forum where we will pool together and train together and in turn together and apprentice together why should we you work in isolation so agar so aapka ye jo hospitality aur college university ka hai kitna badhiya hai kyunki ek taraf aapke paas hotel ek taraf aapka hospitality ek taraf aapka university to jisne hospitality degree leni hai wo to practical leke wo better karega duniya mein bhi this is the right example so if such examples exist elsewhere very good but if this doesn't exist elsewhere so should this happen even hot, ho, even um, hotels should be linked with these kind of hospital institutions so that wo favor nahi kar rahe ki kisi ko lene ke liye they are doing this as a part of policy decisions so this could be one of the good suggestions your practical suggestion what can be done in hospitality can be done there in medical field and so can be in the other i'll tell you what we did in uh, in uh, in internships that was the first thing time first time it happened i have a presentation i'll give you but it set me thinking jo aap kar rahe ho aur agar aap ideas dhoond rahe ho to ye hai ideas jaise ki for example aap uh, ye jab elections hoti hain to election model code of conduct aa jata hai and officers persons like me or a minister they are supposed to be not be seen in public so that they are not seen influencing anybody i as the governor also was expected not to move out not to meet people and not to make any speeches or statements so it was like being locked up in the rajnivas what do i do locked up in rajnivas i'm not moving out and making anything main muft mein kyun aaun main kya ghar chali jaau to i what i did was lg's office put it on the internet saying rajnivas is open for internships in public administration and we and you won't believe it we got many many internship requests and we selected 30 interns graduates coming from different parts of india and what did we do we gave we told them you have to make your own pg arrangements they made nearby pg arrangements and what did rajnivas do i said you come with your breakfast having taken come for the day work here lunch we will give you rajnivas will give you a cup of tea evening tea we will give you you go home for dinner and that's how we balanced it out this is the first time a public administration and government office was thrown open to internships and they stayed with us for one month and all these students who were coming from different parts of india were were associated with different departments of the government so they were giving arts department you go to pwd you go to department of education you go to police department you go to health you go to technology see and observe so it, it and then some day go volunteerism to kai kai jagah mein to isse i have a chapter in this book fearless governance mein so if you could find the time <clears throat> get i have left my book back in the room but that chap book has a chapter on interns what happened with the interns and these interns they are still a part of my family and they were working closely with me and they were having courses workshops projects whatever they saw they would come and present and make a, some made films some made uh, applications some made a uh, lot of things they did on the social media so the, they were sending messages to the rest of the world on what they were learning at rajnivas so they saw closely the functioning of rajnivas what what's what's the matter with these this habit nothing the required criterion of such good practices is since i'm going to be talking about good practices is that it's transparent rajnivas was a countable transparent functioning so you have to be transparent to allow people to come and see you and watch you so this is how can be done so these are some suggestions which can be made if they're looking for such i believe amrita vishwani the peet is looking who's that here you are these are suggestions how why should what is india lacking is linkages india is lacking coordination collaboration india is only lacking linkages aaj har cheez har jagah hai wo linked nahi hai ek dusre ke sath hum kare par aur cooperation nahi hai 
और कोऑर्डिनेशन नहीं है वी नीड टू हैव पॉलिसीज ऑफ कोऑपरेशन कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड स्टार्ट रिवॉर्डिंग फॉर दोज इंस्टीट्यूशन विच आर कोलेबरेटिंग द बेस्ट बिकॉज देर दिस इज वॉट विल ब्रिंग डाउन ईगोज एंड ब्रिंग इन टीम स्पिरिट वाई वी आर टीचिंग आर स्टूडेंट्स कॉम्पिटिशन नॉट कोलेबरेशन फर्स्ट कौन आया किसी को भी चीट करके वो जीत के भी कर, मैं फर्स्ट आई नहीं नहीं टीम वर्क को फर्स्ट को दो फर्स्ट टीम लेट स्टार्ट सेइंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट टीम व्हिच गेट्स ऑल ए ग्रेड सो इफ वी स्टार्ट रिकॉग्नाइजिंग टीम वर्क कोलैबोरेशन कोऑपरेशन कोऑर्डिनेशन यू विल सी द चेंज बिकॉज एट द मोमेंट एवरीबॉडी इज कंपीटिंग विद द अदर टू ब्रिंग द अदर पर्सन डाउन एंड आई कम अप विद सम हाउ द अदर rather than say let's have a team approach let's have team work coming and not again regional team can be can be heterogeneous team work cannot need not be the same language so i think we need to bring how do we bring more cooperation collaboration and cooperation that is i think the if we can do that and reduce the spirit race may first second third is fine but when it comes to project writing education bring it to team work and i do not know whether national education policy is focusing on how do we promote team work i do not know i have not looked at it from that point of view i have certainly looked at it from other point of view but this is mere thinking mein to abhi aaya isliye main soch rahi hu ki if you are open to suggestions this is my second suggestion one is linkages the second is team work within colleges and that is where it's like playing team sport team sport builds networks and friendships and brotherhood and sisterhood similarly will be teamwork at work not just in play but at work so um aapne mujhe jab choice di subjects ki maine ye subject ko choose kiya aur maine aapke liye ek presentation banayi hai students kam hai as student ye student oriented bhi hai but this is teacher oriented presentation also but let me go through it but i have in mind the students uh, to begin with but however you have teaching faculty and your parents so it, it covers a cross section of society let's go ahead and look at this first pair now this presentation when i got the received the uh, invitation i start to look at the good practices the good requirements to make a good life how can we have a good world with bad people how can you have a village of criminals how can you have village with cheats how can you have village of all people deprived dishonest or you can have a village of honest people serving people helping each other supporting each other collaborating with each other living in harmony that would be a better world so but where does it begin from that's where i want to come back to that we if the moment you start looking at the world remember the world is full of countries and countries is full of states states is full of districts districts is full of villages and villages is full of homes homes and in that home it's a very beauty beautiful cell and that cell is the mother and the father and then that cell moves to the teacher so it's a mother and father and the teacher finally make up to villages to districts to states to countries to the world and to the continents so we if we don't address the nucleus which is the home and in the home it's the mother and the father and with the mother and father are the grandparents if they are stayed they are very fortunate if they are there and through that is linked with the teacher but teach school comes first then comes the skill skill upgrading and the skill coming through colleges and universities i think this is how i look at and this from this background i've made this presentation and this presentation is a part of my own library which i maintain because i'm an educate a love for education it at heart as as i was introduced it was a lecturer i started my uh, my career as a lecturer also became a special commissioner training in delhi police so i've been a trainer also while in service and that is what and then of course been a student continuing to learn more and more and doing more degrees whether it was a law degree or an iit or a nehru scholarship and then got on to writing books so it's been a habit of learning constantly and being a student all my life so this uh, is coming quickly from my own library which i retain so when i get a subject like this i then dig into and dive into and make my are we teaching the children to value food and stop wastage and if we are where who when and who, who all 
the food wastage this is food wastage and value for money in hard work this is one scene now question is i'm only leaving questions are we addressing because this is making life it's a life skill it's making the human mind and the human heart do you read it in the books is this read in the book books are re- re- saying teachers are speaking but who is living let's go to the next one making life onus is on whom onus is on whom kiski zimmedari ye sikhana kin ki zimmedari kin ki kin ki please bolo hamari hum jo bhi hain hamari students nahi baithe students hain aapki bhi hai students aapki bhi hai aur agar aapka school jab shuru ho तो ऐसे छोटी छोटी अगर आपको फिल्म्स दिखाई जाए तो क्या होगा कभी दिखाते हैं कभी दिखाते हैं अगर स्कूल में टाइम टू टाइम ऐसी फिल्म में दिखाई जाए और उस पर डिबेट की जाए और डिस्कशंस की जाए क्या उसका इंपैक्ट होगा दिस माय नेक्स्ट रिकमेंडेशन सो द मैसेज इज वेरी क्लियर message as i understand is seven st- now the national education policy has corrected it but it's taken 75 years i have a personal story to tell you i was a ninth standard in my school and i was a very outdoor girl playing competitive tennis already playing lot of tennis sports was my family and on the ninth standard i was denied by my sacred my nun catholic nun she says kiran you cannot get uh, uh, mathematics with science because you're poor in mathematics i was poor in mathematics but i wanted science and he, i said then what will i do they said no we'll only give you household i said but i don't want household i'm not good good at household i want to do science but if you can't give me mathematics give me something else but not household 
because I'm not growing up to make budgets of the house. I'm growing up to make the budget of my country. I'm growing up to run the, be a part. I had already a vision that I'll enter the public services. I will work with the, with, in service. So I said, no. She says, but I can't give you. There was no choice. So what did I do? I left the school as a 13-year-old girl. I was probably 12 and a half to 13 only. Because by 14 stand years, I had joined the 11th standard. That was 10 plus 4. It was not 10 plus 3 and 2 like that. I was 13 years old, and I didn't tell my mother that I've left my school where my younger sister was also studying. My older sister had also studied. It was a school of the whole family. And I said, no, I will not stay here because I'm not for household. The 13-year-old, I knew what I wasn't right. It wasn't right for me. It wasn't, for, household is very good, but it wasn't right for me. I was like a fish who wanted to go lead onto the water, not to climb the tree. So I looked for a school in the city of Amritsar who would give me science, but something else, but science I wanted. So I tried, I got a private school and they offered me science with Hindi. I joined and they said, can you take an entrance? I did an entrance. When I did an entrance, they said, it was October, in the middle of the session almost, nearing, as it was moving on. She says, you, the principal said, you're good for the 10th standard. Kiran, should we take you to, for the 10th standard? I went to join 9th standard. And the principal said, you're good for 10th. You want to take the 10th? I said, if you prepare me and help me, I will. So I got science with mathematics. I studied hard. My teacher worked, worked with me. I did science in laboratories, continued to play tennis, you tried to learn a lot of Hindi because Hindi is very poor in uh, Christian, med Christian colleges. Sometimes Hindi is also poor, but Hindi is Hindi. I knew Hindi, so I did Hindi. And there you are, after that, I entered the 11th standard. My school was still stuck. My friends were stuck in the 10th standard. I joined college in the 11th standard, means college in the university, with science and math and science in Hindi. I took a decision. Why did that, that time they did not have this combination? That is why it's taken the government of India or my country 75 years to give this flexibility. So, but before you give the flexibility, my second, third, next suggestion is that from seventh standard onwards, child should be looked at what is the talent child is born with. Seventh standard, eighth standard, ninth standard, tenth standard. L give the child the flexibility to change. And once, and it's not doctor banega, engineer banega, IAS banega, IPSC banega, nahi to member jaunga. Parents, parents kare, mara hua dekho ge, agar tum IAS nahi bano ge, mara hua dekho ge, doctor nahi bano ge. They are pressurizing. And many, many boys and girls have joined the profession very sadly, and then they finally, the page, page of parents have become higher in age, they change their profession. They leave and start doing to totally something else. So my friends, another way is allow the child to change the subject at any stage, and, but groom the child, help the child in that subject which the child is choosing. That's the need. At, that means flexibility is now coming in NAP. But teachers have to be trained now. Teachers have to be oriented. So this is that where you are not forcing a child. And then exams is ex ex uh, the uh, now board exam was big threat. Now the university examinations come, so the board pressure has come down. Earlier the board was everything. It was do or die. What subject? What God knows what? But ani kya karenge? So this is another. It's you have to prepare a life to make a living. Not only prepare for making a living. What about the life? And if living is going to be messed up, then where's the life? Nothing. So I was thinking this is another area. Another area is there are two gifts we should give to our children. One is roots, the other is wings. We have not given our children our roots. Unko history I used to visit schools in Pondicherry and when I used to ask the children, tell me, Pondicherry history kya hai? Where did Pondicherry come from? When did Aurobindo come? 
or where did the French go? None of them knew. And even today, go test. They'll fail in Pondicherry history. Why? Because Pondicherry history ki book abhi tak likhi bhi nahi gayi wahan. Wo Tamil Nadu ki board ka exam hai. Pondicherry is still linked with Tamil Nadu board and only Tamil Nadu board does not have Pondicherry history. So the Puducherians do not know their own history. Forget about Indian history. They don't know their own history. So those are the roots. And our roots are so deep, goes thousands of years of civilization. Who said India was a developing country? We were the developed country of the world. And we were left poor for whatever reasons history is given. We were made poor. We were exploited completely. And we also fought with each other. And we hurt each other. And we let others use us. And they left us poor. And it has taken us so long, so long to now show a face. I was in the United Nations, New York in 2003, 2004. And now when I go overseas and you go overseas, see the face of foreigners? What was it earlier and what is it now? Now they recognize the Indian. Earlier they did not. Yes. Earlier they did not. Now they do. Now they do. Oh, India? Oh, India yoga. India history. India Vedas. India's Modi. So many things happen. India's technology. India's uh, 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 vaccination. Pharmaceutical country of the world. Youngest country of the world. Now India is different. Why wasn't? Because we never knew our roots. Even if we were not rich, we did not know our roots. Who brought yoga to the world? One person who made the difference. He brought yoga to the world and stood at the United Nations and said, yoga is for the world. It needed care. Yoga has been happening for the last thousands of years. From the time of Patanjali. Goes back to so long a history. So, we never gave our children our roots. Unka kasoor nahi hai. Hamne diya nahi unko. Lekin maan lije, school ne nahi diya, college ne nahi diya, university ne nahi diya, to ghar ne kiyo nahi diya? Maan baap ne kiyo nahi diya? Dadi dada ne, nani nani ne kiyo nahi diya? So, aayin baat sab ki. So, roots. What is our course on roots? Let's know our roots. Don't call it history. Call us our roots. Can you deny me my roots? Roots is roots. So where is my roots? So whatever is go wherever it's going down, I want to know my Upanishads. I want to know my Vedas. I want to know my epics. I want to know my roots. Where are my ceremonies and rituals coming from? All these mantras, where are they coming from? All these Sanskrit mantras, where are they coming from? They're going back to the roots. So I need to know my roots. I may not respect my roots, but I must know my roots. I must know my history. So friends, but give them the wings. So give them the roots and then fly, as it is said, find out what their talent is before. Let's look at the other. How do we teach time management? Do our boys and girls know time management? Or do they get to know only when it's old? When the children come to school, who's talking time management? What kind of assembly sessions are they getting? What kind of role models are they getting on time management? Do they understand that time is flying? Do they understand by comparison that time is not going to stay? From primary to secondary, you'll jump quickly to university. Who's orienting them? If we orient them later, why? Because if they value time, they will try and be learners. They will try and acquire as much as possible. So who's going to teach time management? These are skills for life, which will make a living. So I'm looking for these good practices, which schools must have to begin with. That means the school assembly and the home is very vital. What does the assembly do? The other day, I, somebody was mentioning, I do demonstrative learning channel. And I asked some children, uh, uh, are you aware of the latest nat national education policy? I said, what's happening these days? I asked the girls, children, what is happening these days on your books? Or what's happening? Oh, ma'am, some chapters are being changed. Some chapter. That chapter got changed. And now we do not know what to do. Because this wasn't in the ninth. Now it's in the tenth. So we do not know. I said, but did not your teachers tell you in the assembly that there are 
um, changes in the national education policy and there are amendments coming? No. Nobody is talking to them. Nobody is communicating to them. I'm not saying uh, nobody. means they are not being spoken. They're not being taken into confidence. What is India going through? What is India changing for? Why is the need for India as according to policy changing ha changes happening? So time management will tell them, these, these are things taught in the school assemblies or time management. I'm a product of time management. If, if you ask me in my life all these years, Kiran, have you wasted a day? I said, no, I don't think so. I'm not wasted a day. I live my day. I spend my hour, but I spend it my way. I spend the way I want, but I don't waste. Why should I waste? Why? Because time is priceless. Time cannot be bought from the market. Is one thing which you cannot buy is time. So we need to val send these value systems and what are precious things. So time management is one. Focus is another. We are losing concentration. And you see this? People spend 47 seconds at a time on any task now on average, down from 150 seconds in 2004. And then it goes on to the same pace. How, where are we teaching focus? Focus, focus, focus. But it's all hocus, hocus, hocus. It's not focus. It's hocus, focus. And where will you learn uh, focus? By reading a book? Will we read, it, read a book? Or should we practice it? So why can't the assembly begin with 10 minutes of meditation? Why can't 10 minutes begin with silence? Why can't 10 minutes begin with ethical therapy? Quietitude. So assembly, morning assembly. Why can't the home? Why can't a home begin with, with si uh, silence? Why not? Parents get up to say, Chalo, 10 minutes, chup karke baitho. Or socho apne baare, kal kya kiya? Or aaj kya kana? Chup karke. Yeah, koi mantra jap karo. Koi jo bhi dil karta hai karo. Jo bhi naam japna japo, tumhari marzi. Lekin, das minute chup. Focus karo. Concentration or koi tarika nahi. It cannot be, it has to be practiced. Focus. So how do you practice? These, these are the things which I thought very, very vital to bring in to homes and assemblies and community gatherings so that we can start grooming our people. So we are what we think. We need to make them see. Aaj kya soch rahe ho? Acha kya soch rahe ho? Main soch raha pata hai main fail na ho jaun. Main soch raha hu itni saal hai main itna kamaun ka kaise? Kamaun ka kaise? Arey ye thi door ke pehle aaj ki baat to karna because time is past, time is future, but time is present also. They have to be learned, trained. Past is past. You can only learn from the experience. Future is yet to come. You have to prepare for it. But why are you losing your present? How will we train these children? Only book reading will not do. So we are what we think, as Buddha said. Three things we need to reach out to our children. Sachai, Safai, and Sadgi. Sachai, Safai, Safai we've been taught a lot. And see, we hammered a lot. If we did not have Safai, we would have died many more times in COVID. If we hadn't had those toilets with us, we would have died, died, died. Because it would have spread more and more virus around. Safai we did, but we got a long, long way to go. So, who teaches Safai? I'll tell you a small thing. Do we have time? Or can we stop? Tell me when I stop. Sorry? We have time? It's quarter to six now. When do you want me to finish? No, I just have a... I'm, I'm explaining it. I, I, can, I can run through this presentation. I can explain the presentation. What would you want me to do? Could I explain? It's not that I want to talk or I want you to listen. I've come all the distance to give you something I, I believe, I think I know. Okay. Okay. But if any one of you is bored, please feel, feel, feel free to go. <laughs> so, Sachai, no, Safai. I'll tell you about a little instance in my life. As Special Commissioner Police Training, I had about thousands of police cadets every day. They safai the police training college before they left for work, a home. They did Shramdan. 
Why can't colleges and schools do Shramdan? Shramdan is another way, and it's a Gandhian concept. One day, Shramdan will also come all over the world like yoga did. You'll see. If somebody speaks about Shramdan on the yoga, which means, why? that means, see, but the Shramdan, so many things are being learned. It's a sense of belonging. This is my institution, and I give to serve. And I come down humbly to clean, and, and I'm doing it for others. Others are doing it for me. It's a give and take. So many things are being learned through Shramdan. You learn humility. You learn community service. You learn value for hygiene. You also learn to live in order. And you also want to live, uh, do for each other. I'm doing for you, cleaning, you doing for me. And everybody has turns. And in this, teachers are also part of it. Shramdan means everybody. And in my police training college, they all had portions of lands where somebody had a garden, somebody had the kitchen, somebody had this. They all did it turn by turn. And they used to leave the premises spick and span. And when they would return Sunday evening for Monday morning parade, they came to a new building. Every time it was a new building. So Shramdan is another Safai. Sachai, Safai, and Sadgi. Sadgi means uniform. So that's why schools are Sadgi, because you wear no fr frills and frocks. You wear one uniform, and that's what Sadgi brings you. And you learn when you play work in uniform, you'd wear an NCC uniform, or you wear a sports. It's Sadgi. So if you learn Sadgi, that's what t school teaches you later on. Sadgi also comes by how parents groom you. Her parents tra train you to live within your means. And, and the uh, Sachai. This is the most challenging. Because outside is all falsehood. Bar sirf jhoot dikta aaj kal. Lekin ghar mein agar sachai ki value sikhai jayegi, or school mein, to phir usko confront karega ho. Nei to usko bar accept karega ho. Ye to ghar or school hi kahega saad sachai mein shanti hai. Sachai mein ishwar hai. Sachai mein tarakki hai. Tandrusti hai. Mansikta achi hai. Bhagwan, Bhagwan me vishwas karo na karo. Usme law of nature hai jo tumhe kartavya dega, kartavya ka phal deta hai. Magar phal zaruri nahi dikhe. Pata nahi kaise, karmo ka phal. So it depends, whatever teaches, whatever you can teach. So this is back to school. So sachai will not come by role models outside. Sachai will come by teaching in the school and homes. There is no other option because every all the external environment today is outside falsehood, lot of falsehood, a lie or conflict on falsehood abhar. Agar apne bache ko aaj bachana hai, to school or maa baap hi bacha sakte usko, aur koi nahi bacha sakta. Ye dekhiye. Aur tu uske baad, how do we teach them value for health? Covid ne bata nahi diya, kitna paisa bhi ho gaye. चले गए क्योंकि पैसा नहीं बचा सका हेल्थ नहीं है तो वेल्थ का जीरो है अगर वेल्थ है तो हेल्थ भी आ जाएगी लेकिन अगर हेल्थ नहीं है तो वेल्थ का कोई कागज है वो कोई वैल्यू नहीं करता सो हाउ डू वी टीच देम द वैल्यू फॉर हेल्थ हु विल टीच देम बैक टू न्यूट्रिशन दैट मींस बैक टू स्कूल दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ मैसेजेस बाय इलस्ट्रेशन बाय इनोवेटिव मेथड्स दे हैव टू बी टॉट सी हाउ इट सेज Life's biggest investment is not in property or shares, it's you. So if we can, teachers can play these kinds of roles, it will make a lot of difference. So as Swamiji said, a man is not poor without a rupee, but a man is really poor without a dream and ambition. Ye aapko dream deni padegi usko choti umar mein. Ya share karni padegi, ya usko bona chahegi, teri dream kya hai? Ya, wo kaya ka mujhe malum nahi hai. Achha, ye dream ho sakti hai tumhari? Haan. पापा जैसे बनना चाहते हो हाँ तो करो तो फिर पापा जैसे बनो जाओ पापा के साथ काम पे जाओ जाओ पापा के काम को देखो मम्मी के फैक्ट्री में जाओ मम्मी की फैक्ट्री देखो हाँ मुझे मम्मी का फैक्ट्री बहुत अच्छी लगती मैं भी ऐसा करूँगा यू गिवन एम अ ड्रीम सो आस्क हिम एंड देन इफ ई सेज नो देन यू शेयर इट टू दिम इफ ई सेज येस देन इन्वॉल्व इम दैट्स एजुकेशन दिस इज अबाउट स्पिरिचुअल एनर्जी विच और टॉक्स अबाउट and that's what integral yoga is all about how do you generate spiritual energy to give and i am a strong believer jiske andar spiritual energy usi mein usi mein robe hai 
جس کے اندر اسپرچل انرجی نہیں ہے وہ تو ڈاک ہے بالکل چھپا اس کے پور گرہن لگا ہوا گرہن والا آپ کو روشنی کیا دے گا روشنی تو وہی دے گا جس کے اندر آتمک شکتی ہے اسپرچل انرجی از آل اباؤٹ اویکننگ دا سول دا مائنڈ باڈی اسپرٹ کمنگ ٹوگیدر اینڈ اویکننگ یور نائنتھ آئی وچ از کال دا سول سو ہاؤ ڈو وی ڈو دس اسپرچل انرجی ول کم اونلی بائی پریکٹسنگ میسیجز کائنڈ آف اسپرچل ٹیچنگ ایٹ ان دی وچ از ایتھیکل تھیراپی میں اپنے جیل میں جب آئی جی جیل تھی تو میں اسپرچل انرجی کیسے وائبریٹ کرتی ایک تو میں نے وپشنا میڈیٹیشن دس ہزار پرزنرس کو کروایا تھا دس ہزار پرزنرس کو ایٹ اے ون دس ہزار نہیں ایک ہزار کا ایک کیمپ لگا تھا اس کے بعد وہ کرتے گئے تو اسپرچل انرجی بڑھانے کے لیے تاکہ اپنے مائنڈ کو واچ کریں کہ میرے مائنڈ میں کیا کیا کانفلکٹس آ رہا ہے میں اپنے آپ کی اندر کی شدھی کروں سو اندر کی شدھی ول جنریٹ اسپرچل انرجی اینڈ دیٹس واٹ یور یونیورسٹی اسٹینڈس فار دین کمز اے کانشنس الام بچوں کو بولو کوائٹلی بیٹھ کے ذرا سنے اندر کی آتما ان کو پتا ہو آتما ہوتی ہے دیز اے کانشنس وچ ٹاکس ٹو یو سو کانشنس الام از لائک اینی الام ایکسٹرنل دس از انٹرنل الام ان کو اگر عادت سکھا دو گے بھوم بھوم جب چوری لگنے کرنے لگ گئے تو جھوٹ بولنے لگ بھوم بھوم ہوگا تو یہ بھوم بھوم جو ہے نا یہ آپ کی کانشنس ہے یہ کانشنس بتا رہی ہے یہ آپ سے بھگوان بات کر رہا ہے کانشنس بھگوان ہے وہ اندر سے بتا رہا ہے یہ غلط ہے آپ کو پتا جب یہ تم جھوٹ بولنے لگے یا غلط کرنے لگے تو میں اندر آتما سے آواز نہیں آئی یہ تم غلط کر رہے ہو ہاں ماما آئی تھی تو وہی تو تھے یہی تو الارم ہے تمہارا لیکن تم نے کیا کیا نہیں میم پھر بھی میں نے چوری کی تو نے اس لیے کیونکہ تم نے اس الام کو بند کر دیا اور اگر تم الام کو سن لیتے تو اٹھ جاتے جیسے صبح کے ٹائم پر ہم اس کو بند کر دیتے ہیں اور جو نہیں جس نے اٹھنا ہوتا ہے اٹھ جاتے ہیں اور جس نے زیادہ سونا ہوتا ہے وہ بند کر دیتا ہے It is exactly the conscience alarm. If children can be gifted clocks, call the conscience alarm. Gift children conscience alarms. They listen to this alarm. So when you want to give a gift to on functions, give a book to the children, and conscience alarm to the children. Conscience ki shakal, you tick tick. Listen to this conscience alarm. Har ghar mein bacho ko alarm clock to the children. It will be written in conscience alarm. Give it to them. So teach them how to write their destiny. Destiny hai kya? Unko bata hai, destiny to teri ho gai. Kya? Jis ghar mein to paida hua. Ye teri destiny. Lekin yahan se shuru hui hai, khatam nahi hui. Destiny wo hai, ke tu kahan paida hua, teri destiny shuru ho gai. Lekin ab is destiny se aage kya karega, wo hai tu banane wala. تم کس گھر میں پیدا ہو تم بڑے امیر گھر میں پیدا ہوئے یا بڑے ودوان گھر میں پیدا ہوئے یہ تیری ڈیسٹنی اب تم اس ودوان گیان کو آگے لے جائے گا کہ کھاک میں ملا دے گا اور یہ ویلتھ کو آگے لے جائے گا کہ اس کو مٹی میں ملا دے گا یہ تیری ڈیسٹنی مگر تیری ڈیسٹنی وہ ہے جو اس گھر میں پیدا ہوا ہے یہ تو نے چوز نہیں کیا تھا کہ میں اس ماں باپ کے گھر میں پیدا ہوں گا یا اس دیش میں پیدا ہوں گا یا اس گاؤں میں پیدا ہوں گا کئی بچے آپ نے دیکھے یو پی ایس سی کے ریزلٹس میں کئی بچے غریب گھروں کے بچے نے یو پی ایس سی میں کوالیفائی کیا تو کیا کیا انہوں نے اپنی ڈیسٹنی کو کتنا بنایا دیٹ از میکنگ یور اون ڈیسٹنی دے ور رائٹنگ دیر اون ڈیسٹنی مجھے یاد ہے جب میں ایم اے میں پڑھتی تھی ماسٹرز میں تو میں چاہتی تھی کہ میں یونیورسٹی میں ٹاپ کروں تو یہ فیٹ لائن ہوتی کہا جاتا ہے اسٹرالوجی میں کہ یہ فیٹ لائن ہوتی ہے کہا جاتا ہے مجھے معلوم نہیں ہے لیکن کہا گیا تھا کہ یہ بھاگے کی ریکھا ہوتی میں روز کیا کرتی تھی پین سے روز اس پہ لائن مارتی تھی گہری کرتی جاتی تھی کرتی جاتی ابھی کو باقی گہری ہو گئی میں نے اس کو زبردستی گہرا کیا دس سو واٹ واز بورن ود اٹ واز مائی ڈیسٹنی بٹ آئی اسٹارٹ ٹو رائٹ دیٹ یہ تھوڑی مطلب ہے کہ صرف ایسی ہی لگی ہوئی ایسے کرتی تھی میں سو so, جب میں ایسے کرتی تھی تو اس کا یہ نہیں مطلب تھا کہ اس کے پیچھے کرم نہیں ہوتا مطلب ہے میں نے اپنی ڈیسٹنی بنانی ہے بنائی نہیں شروع کری جب ہاؤس ہولڈ کو منع کیا تھا ڈیسٹنی واز اسٹارٹنگ ٹو گیٹ میڈ دیر سو فرینڈس یو ہیو ٹو ٹرین دا ٹیچر چلڈرن ٹو کریٹ دیر اون ڈیسٹنی سنگ یہ تو تمہیں یہ ریکھائیں تو ملی ہیں یہ تمہاری پہلے کی ہیں کیسے آئی ہیں یہ مسٹری 
लेकिन अब तो तू बनाएंगे ना इन हाथों से क्या करोगे दिमाग से क्या करोगे दिल से क्या करोगे इस कॉन्शियस से क्या करोगे तुम अपनी दैट इज वॉट लाइफ द मोमेंट अ चाइल्ड ग्रोज अप बिलीविंग इन दीज थिंग्स यू हैव अ बेटर वर्ल्ड माई फ्रेंड्स यू कैन नॉट हैव अ बेटर वर्ल्ड इग्नोरिंग ऑल दीज बेसिक्स सो लेट सी द नेक्स्ट सो देर आर थ्री कॉन्स्टेंट्स इन लाइफ फ्रेंड्स दे मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड लाइफ इज चेंज and that you have choices and there are principles and principles are non violative what are those principles nimbu ka ped lagaya to nimbu hi milenge aam ka ped lagaya to aam hi milenge principle ye hai kudrat ke kanoon so you will reap what you will sow so if children can understand that tumne phal lena hai to pehle karm karo and that is where the gita the role of krishna's teachings come karm yogi banna so friends start by doing if we can uh, educate our children start by doing what is necessary then what is possible and suddenly you are doing the impossible said francis uh, saint francis the architect made houses writer made poetry the scientist made discoveries and the teacher made them all remember that teachers what made them all so see the mother is also a teacher father is also a teacher and then you have teachers outside the homes and you see the kind of engineers we have now and then without any degree kaisi sadke bana gaye abhi tak mandir bana gaye jo abhi bhi climate change ke bawajood bhi khade rehte hain aur ab kya hai engineering degree ke baad kaise ped kaise road banate hain ये डिग्री से है योर चाइल्ड इज लाफिंग बेटे तुम क्यों हंस रहे हो तुम्हें क्या अच्छा लगा क्योंकि यू लाइक इट वट डिड यू लाइक इन दिस कम यू टेल मी टेल मी वट डिड यू लाइक वट डिड यू लाइक वाई डिड यू स्माइल I liked you talking and all the videos you shared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's liking my talking. <laughs> How cutely. Usko ye nahi pata main kitna sach bata rahi hu is Hindustan ka ke hamare engineering colleges aise engineers banate hain. Aur purane zamane mein hamari roots ye thi ki wo bina engineering college ke ऐसी सड़कें बनाते तो अभी भी हैं वो इमारतें दैट्स ब्यूटिफुल दैट्स डिवाइन इग्नोरेंस बट इज एंजॉइंग इट द वे इट इज इसी ब्यूटिफुल एंड लुक एट द लास्ट वन आई थिंक सो गुड टीचर्स टीच ग्रेट टीचर्स ट्रांसफॉर्म यू आर हियर टू ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड नॉट जस्ट टीच ट्रांसफॉर्म सो दैट्स वॉट कलाम जी सेड डॉक्टर कलाम इफ अ कंट्री इज टू बी करप्शन फ्री and become a nation of beautiful minds i strongly feel there are three key societal members who can make a difference they are the father mother and the teacher they are the architects of our of the humanity mother father and there are countries and societies moving on who are becoming fatherless motherless parentsless or do not know who the parents are and that those those are danger, very dangerous uh, developments so we have to go back to parenting we have to go back to teachers if we want a better society in a better world of course uh, skill will come they will all earn they will contribute they will innovate because good human beings will innovate they will create and they will earn for themselves and they'll share the earning they'll not be monopolists they will be philanthropists So if you are not willing to learn no one can help you if you are determined to learn no one can stop you remember that so what will be the new year bring us wo puchte hain 365 opportunities this is the positive attitude which our sister girls and boys and students will say aaj is one more opportunity pick it up so friends tomorrow you will wish you had started today Thank you so much. Thank you. These are the little diamonds I preserve for myself.
which inspire me as I read on a regular basis, and I save them. And when something like this happens, I dig into it and think, let me share my ratans, my diamonds, and my uh, things which inspire me. So that's what you've seen today. Thank you so much for your, for your honor and the regards you've given. Thank you, Kiran, once again for inviting me. Thank you, Vice Chancellor, sir, for inviting me and all of you, and the dean and the registrar and all of you together, and all the members of the faculty and those of you who've heard me. Thank you.